Hi there, this is David, and welcome to Let's Play Brave Story New Traveler. Today we're in the crying town of Paula because we need to use the liquid lament to cure the people, so let's head on inside and do just that. Just uh, head straight away to the, uh, what is it, the Highlanders branch, and start here. Yeah, let's do it. There you go, mister. Oh, praise the goddess. Well, I'm going to thank you on behalf of all of Palta. Can you tell us what happened? We've pieced some of it together ourselves, but... Well, I couldn't say how long ago it was. But it started when a boy of 17 or 18 in a black robe drifted into town. I remember everything up to greeting him, but then it all goes blank. I'm sorry. I knew it was him. The black robe lad. You know him? Who is he? A traveler, just like Tetsuya here. A traveler, you say? But I thought travelers were sent by the goddess. Why would they cause trouble in vision? There is no grounds for assuming that all travelers are good, sir. Each has his own reasons for coming to vision. The same applies to Tatsuya. Tatsuya's decision not to act against the vision's interests can only be ascribed to his individual character. I'm not so sure that I see eye to eye with that theory, Dr. Ropple. Oh, we're calling Ropple out. <laughs> I think it's less about being good or bad, and more about the choices that he makes. How he chooses to deal with other people, you see. You dare question my logic? Ha! Do your worst. Question your logic, sir. Never. Whoa! What's going on? Oh, somebody help! Chaka, what's the matter? The men at the mines. The miners. You found them? They're... they're all dead! Whoa! Oh, no, Ray strikes again. I believe that we need to go. Stay here and guard the women and children. Alright, promise that you'll get that lad. Where are the mines? To the north of here. Such a terrible carnage. It's the curse of the fireworm. Huh, the curse of the fireworm, you say? Well, let's talk to him and uh, find out more about that curse. There's an old saying among the Palta miners that our ancestors dug the first mine shaft out of a hold made by a fallen fireworm long, long ago when the terrible demon king attacked Vision. Fireworms appeared and burnt every demonkin in the area to a crisp. Many towns were reduced to ash and the dragons and demonkin destroyed each other. And now, a fireworm's ghost has killed the Palta's miners. It had to be a fireworm. Nothing else could have got done that kind of damage. Well, you don't say. Okay, yeah, I actually do want to pick up my bounty because I need as much money as I possibly can. This is the last town for a very long time. So, you're going to want to buy uh, the weapons here, and uh, if you can't afford the weapons, uh, come back and buy them. Like, buy what you can right now for, like, the main players, like Yuno and Melody and, you know, maybe somebody else who you keep in your party a lot, but um, as for everybody else, get them whenever you can, because you're going to want uh, these good weapons. So, let's go over here, and what I need to do is actually sell some stuff, and then I'll buy some stuff. I got that taken care of, and I should have just enough to buy exactly what I need. I'm going to buy a weapon for uh, Yuno, for Melody. Um, I'm going to buy armor for Tetsuya, Yuno, and armor, shockingly enough, for Ropple. So, yeah, with all that, I'll go ahead and equip that stuff off screen, but let's continue talking to everybody around here, see what you have to say. Okay. Huh. I don't know. You don't say. Uh, what do you have to say for yourself? Get over here. Okay, you're missing your father. Anybody in here have anything interesting to say? Probably not, but yeah. Okay, well, I'm sure everybody told you that. Hey, what do you have to say for yourself? Get over here. Your name, okay? Oh, we've we've already talked to you, so yeah. That's basically, he's just letting you know about various side quests, but we'll do all the side quests whenever it's more convenient, and it will be very convenient to do them very shortly. Okay. Yeah, you're older than time, so you don't have to go in mine. You need to stand behind the bar. Okay, so, uh, we did that. Let's, uh, head on over to the, uh, Palta Mines. Let's go. And let's see. From here, those are the mines over there. It's a little bit to the northwest, so just go up this little mountain path right here. Let's hunt him down! Ooh, we have the Poison Liz Raptors and the Testudo. I guess that's the, uh, the big guy there. Oh, I can't get them all, so then I'll try a major nuisance, get them through there, another major nuisance. Oh, why is Ropple in my party? Oh, Ropple, you suck. I don't want you in my party. Ugh. 
Oh well. It doesn't matter. But uh, the reason why I wanted to buy some equipment for Rapple is because he will come in handy in this upcoming boss fight, and I will be using him against the boss uh, that is coming up. So just keep that in mind, that if you've been neglecting Rapple like I have, you might want to stop neglecting him at this point. Well, there you go. Easy enough. Yeah, and you also might want to gain up some levels here, too, and uh, go ahead and buy everything for everybody at the town. I'm not going to. But you can if you want to with the vile Gimbal Wolves here. We'll use another uh, major nuisance. I'm not going to use it again, though, because that's quite a lot. But let's see. Do you have everything that I can do? Yeah, it's... Oh, all of his stuff is single target. It's so crappy. Even whenever he gets, like, the second level spells, they're still single target. Like, what the hell is that? Everybody else has a multi-target attack. It might be, like, a random multi-target attack, like you knows, but it's still a multi-target attack. I mean, come on. Oh, and I was confused. Lovely. Oh, well. He killed him. Yeah. Confusion in this game is such a joke. I don't even know why they even bother with the status. It, like, it never actually affects you adversely, so... Yeah. I wouldn't even bother about it. But, going right over here, there we are, the Paul to Mine. So, let's head on inside. See what we can't see, see what we can't find. Get some nice treasure in here, too, though. And let's see. First things first. Let's hunt him down! We have some sword masters. Um, again, major nuisance. That's why I love Yuno. Know, she's so good. Uh, yeah, just use frost, whatever. I don't really care what you use against these guys. Ready? But something to keep in mind is that um, the various elemental spells that Rapple has cause stat down as well as the damage. So you might want to use like a defense lowering um, spell or maybe a strength lowering spell if they're dealing a lot of damage to you. Um, the spells tell you what they do. Uh, right here, let's see. Thunder, low is wisdom. Wind, agility. Ice, attack. And fire, defense. So, yeah, it's there. It's interesting, you know. It makes black magic more useful than it would otherwise be. And I like how it combines damage with debuffs. It makes debuffing worthwhile. So, yeah. But anyway, keep on going down here, and we want to go to the right first. Let's see, there it is. The odds are in our favor! Ooh, the dark seduct seductress. I can't even speak today. Let's see, we'll go and attack you. I bet you that these sword masters are going to uh, block her, though. Let's try lowering her wisdom, actually, since she is a spellcaster. We can give it a shot. She'll probably die soon, though. But yeah, if she's anything like the other seductresses, uh, whenever they appeared in the groups with the warriors, those warriors would kind of block physical hits for her. So something tells me that these sword masters are going to block physical hits for her as well, so that's why I'm going to use a magical hit on her. And we're actually doing halfway decently, I've got to say. Ooh, they're nice and poison, too. Okay, yeah, just go all out against these guys. They're all dead anyway, so, yeah. Oh, well, that didn't kill him? I'm kind of shocked. Man, I'm not really dealing a lot of damage with physical hits. Rumpel dealt more damage with his physical hit than Tetsuya did. That's kind of crazy, I've got to say. Oh, so good thing to level. Nice. So anyway, go over here. What do we have? Here's some recall juice. That cures Oblivion, I believe. And then up, let's see. It's over here, I want to say. Here we go! Ooh, we have the Golem. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'm... Have you attack? Have you used the major nuisance to get the extra BP? And have you used... Oh, we'll do ice against you. Why not? It's kind of counterintuitive. You want the person with the least BP to use the unity attack. Because whoever uses the unity attack gets the bonus BP for the damage. So, it is counterintuitive, but it, it makes sense the more you do it. And Raffle can pretty much continually... Oh, shyest? go on and use his uh, magic continuously because every time he uses it, he deals so much damage that, uh, oh my god, this sucks, that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, he just gets it all back, so, yeah, use it again, apparently Frost is weakness, so, yeah, please don't kill her, oh, wow, seriously, you're crazed, and you only dealt 11 damage to you know of all people, and I haven't even gotten a chance to equip the equipment that I just bought for him yet? Like, that's pretty terrible. Wow, you have a lot of physical defense. Good thing I have Rapple in my party. Man. Okay, so, let's see. Since he has so much physical defense, I'm going to use a Mega Spark. Do you have any magic attacks? I don't think that you do. 
So, yeah, just attack. Be on the lookout for healing if you need to, and keep on using ice. Oh, that sucks. That makes it so that he can't use his uh, reviewer skills, so he just has to physically hit, and his physical attacks do, like, nothing against this guy. So it's all about Roffle and his poison damage, so this is gonna take quite some time, I must say. Let's have you use a nice heal on him, and you continue with your ice spells. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not that bad, actually, I've gotta say, but this can be uh, quite the long battle. I'm totally gonna have to heal that status, because... Oh, well, there you go, never mind. I was gonna say, because this could take forever, but yeah, it didn't take that long. Okay, well, awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and cure that up, actually. Let's see, we'll use uh, Mind Cure on Tetsuya. And while I'm in here, let's go ahead and heal up everybody else, too. Anyway, keep on moving, and over here we have... Ooh, 736 temps. Nice! Okay, so now, moving right along, we want to take the lower path first and get some treasure down here. Um, you know, I've got to say, having Rapala in the party isn't all that bad. Get some paralyzed powder. Whoa! Yeah, it's another mimic. Ugh, those guys are so difficult, I can't stand it. It's just ridiculous. But, like I was saying, a lot of the enemies in here have a pretty high defense power, so, uh, having Rapala with his magic-based damage isn't half bad. Uh, those tiers restore, uh, all status ailments, so if you have a, you know, any kind of status ailment, you can use those tiers to, uh, heal them up. Yeah, uh, especially like the golems. Those golems have a lot of defense, and those huge turtle guys have a ton of defense too. And having him cast a uh, fire on the golems is really nice because it doesn't craze them like the ice spell does, and it also has the added effect of lowering their defense. So that's something to keep in mind that I've been using for a while. Ooh, this heal point. I'm totally gonna have to use that. Uh, let's see. Go this way up here for some more treasure. What do we have over here? Ooh, the Gilder Gold! That sells for a ton of gold. I want to say it sells for like 10,000 gold. It's either 1,000 or 10,000, I'm pretty sure. But we got something over here. What do we have? Ooh, the Defense Diagram. That will raise your uh, defense by three points if you wanted to uh, use it. You examine this. Yes, Sinister Vapors and the bones begin to move. And it's May Boss time with the Dogra Shigara? I don't know, but uh, I'm going to use fire on him because he's weak to fire. Uh, he has really high defense power, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. Whoa! That really sucks. Uh, but Ellen does have really high defensive power, but he has really high uh, offensive power, so it's really nice to use Roffle. Uh, let's heal him up before uh, you kill him. That would really be lovely, because that's the last thing one is Roffle to die. Uh, that wouldn't be good at all. Sweet, yeah. Uh, that isolation move right there, what it does is it makes it so that you can't use any unity skills. Like, you can't use your combo skills. You can still use your regular bravura skills, but, uh, really, he revived himself? Uh, yeah, so you have to kill him again. Uh, he doesn't have as much HP the second time around. We'll probably kill him this round, but, yeah, that's just kind of not. You've gotta be kidding me! Come on now! Well, we just killed you! I'm gonna revive him after this battle, so there's gonna be a cut. Ugh, pain in my ass. You know, and we still don't have a revival spell, we still have to use Wake Water, and we've only been able to find Wake Water in Tears Heaven so far, so I may have to go back and uh, buy some more Wake Water, which would really suck. That Goddess's Rain uh, will heal all of your HP, so that's pretty nice, keep that in mind. And we get the Crystal Light, not the uh, soft drink, but the uh, item that deals light, light, light damage. Yeah, not a lot of light-based damage. And we get the Experience Diagram, which will raise your experience uh, gain per battle. So if you want that, do that. Anyway, next time on Let's Play uh, Brave Story New Traveler, we're going to go in and fight the boss and see if we can't save these miners. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And happy watching!